So you all know how much I love Flash, and so hence I've made another Flash tutorial. And this one's basically about how to make a smooth scroll bar in Flash. And no, this isn't one of those cheapy ones that you just get from your components panel. This one's a real one that you make with Action Script. And I know that you're getting scared because, oh my gosh, you hate Action Scripting because it's so hard. But you can just copy it from the description. So, first of all, you're going to want to make a new document. And this is going to be an Action Script 1 or 2. It doesn't matter. Both of them are basically the same on the, fam um, the same foundation. So just open those two up, and then you're going to want to, first of all, adjust the size. So I'm going to edit the size. Um, 320 for the width, and for the height, I'm going to make it 280. And I'm going to click the magic button that says OK. When you click that, the magic button changes the look of the magic white space so now what you gotta do is click right here and you can just go to show frame so that you can have everything nice and fit with your flash document okay so what you're gonna want to do is call this layer by double clicking the text that says layer one you're gonna want to select it and call it scroll bar and we're, I'm going to be showing you guys also um, um, a nice and neat way to do your files is by making them inside of more and more movie clips. That's how I like to do my stuff. So you guys can do this too and learn off this. So I'm just going to grab the, my rectangle tool or whatever tool you want to and just drag a plain box. And select it all. Right click it and go to convert to symbol. Now you're going to want to call this whatever you want to. I'm just going to call it scroll bar. And this is not your scroll bar. Don't get scared and think that this is going to be some kind of crappy tutorial. What kind of scroll bar is that? No, we're not making the scroll bar yet. We're just making the movie clip. So after you've named it, whatever you want to, just call it a movie clip and press OK. Now just double click it. And now you can delete that ugly box. So you're going to want to add two more layers. First one, you're going to call Action Script. Second one, you're going to want to call mask. No, not a mask that you wear, the one we're going to make in the Flash document. And the bottom one, you're just going to want to call it text. And that's it. So now that you've got your three layers, all you got to do now is work off one of them first. I'm not sure which one I want to start off with. I think I'm just going to do the mask first. So select your mask layer by clicking on it, obviously. And go to your rectangle tool. And... Basically, the mask layer is, if you've ever seen a scroll bar like this one, as you can see, um, this little box that I'm going to show you, look, all this black represents this box. This box, when you scroll, the content is like right here. So we're going to make our box to where we want our content to show up while you're reading it. So... You probably don't understand me at all. I'm probably speaking another language to you, but you'll understand it when we're done with the tutorial. Just do what I'm doing if you don't understand. If you do, then you can make it however you want to. Just drag a box and leave a little bit of space on the side over here for your scroll bar. So I'm just going to make it like this. And I'm going to delete the line by going over the edge because I hate the line. Double click it and hit delete. It's the big button on your keyboard that says delete. And all you got to do now is right click this go to convert to symbol and just call it mask making a movie clip click OK so now you've made your mask you can double click in here and make it a lighter color that doesn't really match any other stuff so I'm just gonna make it a nice bright green and I'm gonna go over to where it says alpha if you're in MX or any other type of flash you probably won't have this option don't sweat about it this is not something major that you have to do this is just something extra that you can do just to make it more seeable. Just click, type in 45, I mean, and just click enter. So you can kind of have a see-through effect. You won't see it right now, but later you will understand what I just did. So just double-click anywhere on your screen to go back to here, where there's our three layers. And click on the green. First of all, give it an instance name in your properties panel. If, it isn't, if your properties panel isn't here, go to window, properties or control F3 and just call it mask to keep it nice and simple and go down to wherever it says style and none it should be in your color effect if you're in CS4 I'm not sure if that's the same thing in CS3 or under 
just click where it says none and go to where it says alpha and drag it all the way to zero so that we don't see anymore and you can just click right here to lock it now a magic lock has locked the layer so that you cannot touch it anymore amazing right okay so now just click on your text layer and this is what we're gonna do next or well, actually you know what let's just do the scroll bar next I don't think I made a layer for the scroll bar we can just do it in the action script layer I'm not very picky about having stuff done in my action script layer sounds kinda wrong but whatever just make it a gray straw regular rectangle delete that nasty line and you're gonna wanna make the width probably about seven and make the height 250.1 and just put it somewhere where it's nice and cozy and right click it and go to copy and right click on your stage and go to paste and you're going to want to make the height for this one keep the width the same but the height you're probably going to want to make it probably 55.1 something around there this is probably the best right here and color it different I'm just going to make it um, a darker gray. You can make it whatever color you want. You can make anything whatever color you want. Use your imagination here. Um, this is just an example. So right click the longer rectangle and right click it and go to convert to symbol and call it scroll bar BG for background, the scroll bar background. Click OK and give it an instance name which is the same thing. Scroll bar BG. Make sure you capitalize the BG. This thing is case sensitive here. So right click the smaller one, go to convert to symbol, and just call it scroll bar. Oh. Oh, I have taken the name. Um Ooh. I'm gonna wanna call this scroll bar right here. You can call it whatever you want. Um I'm just gonna call it bar. And for the instance name, make it scroll bar. Okay, so it doesn't really matter what the movie clip name is, it just matters what the instance name is. The instance name is what really matters, and you can just drag this right onto there, wherever you want it to be. However, you know. Okay, now let's make the text. So you can show your mask now. Um, you just might want to make it a little bit seeable, and you want to put your text somewhere in these diameters, and maybe match it up to the size of your scroll bar just pick it up a little bit and reduce this well not that reduce it kind of to the same size and you're gonna wanna go to your text layer you can lock the mask layer again ooh magic lock and in your text layer just type whatever you want so I'm just gonna make my text black and make it a little bit smaller uh, come on flash work with me here and um, just type in whatever you want I'm just going to type in mcv space and enter digital and then enter and I'm going to leave this enter right here so that when I copy it click right here and paste it always goes down and so I'm just going to keep on doing this so it's a good length away from your mask and now that you've done that you can right click your text and go to convert to symbol and call this text and for the instance name call it text would kind of it would probably mess up the action script you can just call it txt for text and you can unlock your mask layer and bring it down again and you should be done if you've added all your instance names make sure if there if there's something wrong going on then it's probably because you haven't added the instance name. The instance names are very important. So now you gotta do is right click the first layer of your action script and go to actions. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I had typed in all the action scripting and after I was done with the tutorial I had noticed that I had wasted up 20 minutes just typing <laughs> the action scripting. And um, of course, as you know, YouTube only takes up 10 minutes if you're not a partner, so yeah what are you gonna do YouTube can't take me I'm too sexy for YouTube so they don't wanna let me put more than 10 minutes cause they suck so um let's just copy and paste this is the only time it is okay to copy and paste and some other times 
So don't be afraid to copy and paste. I'm not judging you. Just copy and pasting. Yeah, so I'm going to paste this in, the code that I copied from my tutorial. And so, yeah, here's our magical scroll bar. Um, pretty good, I would say. Um, it has a nice little smooth to it, as you can see. It goes pretty smoothly. Um, yeah, well, I like it. I don't know if you're going to like it or not, but I do.